A newly crowned champion doubles down at the greatest race in the history of spring. The 19th running of the Spring Sizzler started the 1990 racing season at the Stafford Speedway. The event was the fourth on the NASCAR modified schedule following events at Martinsville, Thompson, and Richmond. Defending Tour champion Mike Stefanik went winless in those events and was hoping to change that streak in race number four. 33 teams attempted to qualify for the 30 available starting spots. Reggie Ruggiero won the pole with a lap speed of 92.4 miles per hour. Richard Savory, Danny Watts, and S.J. Avonson missed the event. A pre-race redraw put Mike McLaughlin and George Kent Jr. on the front row, while Ruggiero would start fourth. McLaughlin would lead early, while Ruggiero would lead the most, holding the top spot for 98 of the race's 200 laps. The event was slowed 13 times by caution flags, including a red flag for guardrail repair following a heavy crash involving Ted Christopher. Mike Iwanitsko, Doug Hevron, John Anderson, and Eddie DeHaan also failed to finish due to on-track incidents. Ruggiero would be out front on lap 164 before blowing a right rear tire and giving the race lead up to 1989 Sizzler winner Mike Stefanik. Jumped out front to lead the final 34 laps to claim the win, his second consecutive checkered flag in the race, joining Richie Evans, Maynard Troyer, and Greg Sachs as back-to-back -back Sizzler winners. McLaughlin would finish a close second, while Kent ended up third. Mark your calendars now for the 50th running of the greatest race in the history of spring for Sunday, April 24th. The 100 lap open modified event will culminate a busy weekend of racing that also includes the Napa Auto Parts dual qualifying races on Saturday, April 23rd. See the full schedule and order your tickets today at StaffordSpeedway.com.